Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can I move in with you? What's up, ghouls? I'm Kelsey, and I love colorful things and spooky things. So we're back for another episode of the Not So Very Challenge Green Generation. I read all of your guys' fantastic comments, and most of you seem really thrilled that we've shaken up the challenge with a bit of a death. I asked our friends on Patreon to vote on what they would rather see, and they all agreed that they would rather see her as a ghost for now. I am not saying that eventually she won't be brought back to life, but I think for right now, we're gonna keep ghost vibes. And I'm gonna really greatly enjoy being raised by a ghost. But I'm just excited to like see what's it like playing as a ghost as the main character. I actually haven't done that before. Plenty of things to discover. Leave all of your amazing ideas for Ghost Ivy in the comments below. Also, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time a new video goes live. And if you missed it on Wednesday's video, I've decided to make the executive decision to move all of my Let's Plays to Let's Play Saturday. So both 100 Baby and the Not So Very Challenge will be living on Saturdays and Wednesdays will be one-off videos, mainly builds, cast challenges, short challenges, that kind of thing. So if you have any ideas for that, let me know in the comments below. I just pulled one of my own hairs out of my mouth. Humbling. All right, let's hop into the video. All right, so we're back with the family and Ivy with our sweet baby angel, toddler Riverberry. She feels very loved. You know, she was a little traumatized and not enjoying being held, but just feeling pretty good right now. Oh, we're feeling playful. Ghostly laughter. She's gonna be a little comedy queen. Aspen is going to school. I think Aspen needs to age up sometime soon, but we're gonna do some tummy time. I also think it could be fun to move into a different house that's like more ghostly, I guess. Maybe like in her search for answers, they end up in kind of like a more unsavory neighborhood because Ivy's like having to go searching for a cure. Oh God, our house has been shut off. Oh great, someone else is inviting me to hang out. Awesome. But we're being invited out and as a requirement of this challenge that I hate because it killed us and I will die on that hill, pun intended. Ah! Okay, Bethany, I thought we were coming to visit that you just adopted a dog, but it looks like you adopted the shelter. Um, love that. We're gonna bring River here. So River's also here. Wow, let's give her a little ghost scare as a joke. Oh my God, all the dogs are like, inside, inside friends. We just scared the bejeebas out of her. Like, ta-da, it's me, I'm a ghost now. Oh my God, Carrie Green. <gasps> found a ring in Aspen's bag. I think he's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes, no. Ah! Oh my God, obviously you should say yes, girls. You're right, oh my gosh, of course. I should say yes, what was I thinking? Wow, Aspen's proposing early. You should introduce her to River. Actually, this might be a kind of great house that we might want to live in. It is a spooky house. Do you need a roommate, girl? Do you want a greenhouse makeover? I like the layout. I kind of enjoy it. It's nice. I would have flipped the stairs so the stairs faced the entryway, but that's, you know, my opinion. Maybe we should like move in with our friend here. Although she has another friend and a bajillion dogs. I don't know. Maybe this is where Ivy gets the idea that she wants to live in this neighborhood. Okay, we're putting River down where I guess she'd want to be. We're gonna introduce ourselves cautiously to these dogs who kind of look intense. Yeah, he just growled. Okay, can we go inside and introduce ourselves to like these other dogs? Our sweet baby angel River's just passed out. She's like, I'm gonna sleep. It's okay, mom. You can live your dreams. Peanut butter and us are not friends. Monster likes us. Okay, monster, go off. Muffin looks upset. Muffin, are you okay? Oh God, okay, Muffin doesn't like us. I've never seen a Sim have this many dogs on their own. This this is absolutely hilarious to me, honestly. So who's this? Pumpkin. Pumpkin looks a lot like Muffin. Napoleon's tiny. That's hilarious. Okay, she likes us. How many flippin' dogs do you have? I think she has 12 dogs and a cat. Wild. Nika also doesn't like us. Your animals aren't particularly friendly, Bethany. I'm not quite sure why you invited me over to meet your animal when all of them kind of suck. Let's do like a polite introduction.
introduction to Carol. It seems like Carol's your roommate. I like her makeup. She's fun. She seemed to really like us. We are a very likable person. I do feel guilty that our baby's just sleeping on the doorstep, but I am keeping an eye on her, so it's all good. But oh my gosh, are we flirting? What's going on here? We seem to be getting along very well, which is very nice. But I think it's time to just go home. This was so fun visiting Bethany. I'm glad that I came. Oh, oh my gosh. My brother's fiance is calling me like, hey, I heard you made Francis Fletcher. His name is not with a T. Fletcher, who you guys like? It's like, okay. Oh my gosh. One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Okay. I mean, I don't care. But I think this moment was like when she gets interested in this area, being like, what's this about? It seems like they might have some answers there for me. Let's put River down inside on her little play mat. Oh no, what's wrong? Let's go hug our little brother who's crying and then maybe have some lunch. I didn't know ghosts still needed to eat, but apparently they do. So there's that. Oh my gosh. And look, it's Violet, my ex. Oh, we could possess things. Well, that's kind of fun. And Bethany's proud of us for landing a job. So this is awkward, Violet. I don't know quite why you're here. Probably because she was very curious when she heard that we became a ghost, but she's yelling at my cat, which is super rude. Oh my God. I think Ivy and Quentin are playing together. They're like chatting. This is so cute. Oh, baby river. All right, we're gliding outside, gonna pay our bills so that we can have our lights back on. Fletcher St. James thinks Ivy very as well and wants to become best friends. Of course. Oh my gosh, she just arrived at my house. I think he's heartbroken because we died. River just put her toe in her mouth and look, the whole family came out to see. Can we pee ourselves as a ghost? This is something I need to know. Why don't you go pee like a champion and then eat your garden salad? And then we need to go chat with Fletcher who is upstairs. I think he's gonna cry in our bed. No? Doing push-ups. He's like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm a cool guy. <laughs> I don't need to cry. Oh, nope, he's getting in my bed. He's definitely gonna cry in the bed. We're having our little snacky snack. Sweet baby River is playing with her toys. Let's chat with him. Console about death. What's so wrong, Fletcher? Okay, Fletcher's like cheering himself up by having a bit of a boogie and enjoying a future cube. So she's gonna go outside and meet him outside alone and chat with him. Be like, hey, how's it going? Oh, he's really shaken up still. Oh, we're gonna reveal a deep secret. Oh my gosh, I think she's flirting. I thought she was just flattering him. Oh, they just got a sentiment. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. Oh, hello, Maurizia. She's just peeping over our fence here. They are really close. They've bonded a lot. They're giving friends to lovers right now, but we're going inside to go put our baby down, I guess. She's just putting her on the ground. Oh my gosh. And it looks like Violet is leaving. She's like, I should really start going now. You literally came in uninvited, like unannounced. You walked into my house and then you kind of just stood around, didn't talk to anyone and then left. Let's make a drink for Fletcher. That's kind of her love language lately. He's just having a little glass of wine and she's gonna practice making drinks while he has his little glass of wine. Aww. Seems like he enjoyed his little wine. He's coming over to chat with her. That's great. Oh my God, how cute are they? They're bonding. He's like, I need you to get going. Wait, 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 don't leave. I can't call him back. Okay, well then in that case, let's keep practicing making drinks. I love that Fletcher came by though and hung out with us. River's getting put to bed, which is great. And then little baby Quentin, who's like hanging out with dad on the couch. Is he learning mixology? What's going on with Quentin over here? I know that was our skill level, but it looked like he was learning mixology too. But we're almost done to the next level, which I think is level five. There we go. We need to spend a hundred hours on the computer and reach level five of the tech guru career still. And we need to do our programming of the day. We don't have a computer anymore because we sold it for our own soul. I think we could fit in like a little tiny desk. I mean, we could put it here. This one's kind of interesting. This is definitely giving green vibes. I feel like we should do a cheaper desk though. So we'll just do like a nice little tiny living desk in the corner here. Maybe we'll make it white, kind of match more of the stuff. And then we'll do a nice green chair. That definitely looks like her style. And then we need a laptop. So let's practice our programming while our baby is sleeping. Aspen's still a teen. I also feel like we need to celebrate Aspen's birthday. They actually leave on Wednesday. So it might actually be a good night to do it. All right, her programming's 25% done, 50% done. We're getting up there in our hours too. I think she's now at 70 hours, which is good. Oh, Ivy's family oriented. I forgot about that. That was like one of her bonus traits that she just got. So cute. Oh, who's here? McKenna. 
come on in. We just finished up our programming. It's a little late for you to be over, but I'm gonna be cooking a cake for my brother. Maybe we'll do a zombie cake, you know, cause she's feeling very playful. So maybe she does a zombie cake as a joke. Oh my God, I love that the cat's playing on the baby thing. That's really cute. Oh look, everyone's sitting outside. Did someone pee? Oh, it's this. Okay, well, we'll have to repair that. So here's our cake. Let's put on some birthday candles for our brother. And then we can age up Aspen. It's your time, bro. There he goes. Happy birthday, Aspen. Quinton celebrating along with him. Dad's cleaning the table. Yay, Aspen's a young adult. So that's great. Happy birthday. We're gonna go chat with McKenna, who seems to be upset about our death. All of our friends seem pretty upset about our death. I don't blame them for being very sad, but we're gonna pass out pretty soon. So it's time for us to go to bed. It is one. <gasps> is he fixing it? Oh my God, Aspen, brother of the year. No, he didn't fix it. Never mind, I take it all back. Also, River's upset. Oh no. Baby River, I'm sorry. Oh no, it looks like mom's taking care of it. Sick. Okay, we're going to bed. McKenna's like, hi. Let's smile at McKenna. Be like, hello, McKenna. Oh, he's fixing it again. Please fix it, please, 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 brother of the year. Oh, visitors unlocked. Oh, River. Knock, knock, who's there? River's first visitor. River finally met another sim outside of her household. That's so sweet. You know what else is sweet? Aspen, my favorite brother that's helping me out while I sleep. Yes, King. And McKenna's like, I should go now. It is 2 a.m. River ages up in two days. So she ages up on Friday. Oh, mom is still crying over her daughter that died. They're all like processing it in different ways. We're gonna smile at Amber and coo at Amber. We're interacting with grandma. We're gonna learn how to babble really soon. I feel it. Oh, she's so heartbroken. Oh, poor grandma. Oh no, it's so sad. It hurts me to watch Amber cry like that. Oh, and now it's fast forward because our baby went to bed, but Ivy's up. Let's like have a little quick breakfast. It's weird not even seeing her feet anymore. It's so sad, she just glides everywhere. All right, since you're just hanging out, you could sit here and enjoy programming. There you go. She's working on her mobile app. Oh, we gotta go to work. Okay, we're gonna send her to daycare for free. Okay, we gotta work hard. I just really want her to get her promotion today. I think she deserves it considering she already had that job. Come on, come on, come on. We got promoted to ace engineer. Yeah, baby, we're tech guru level four now. River's back from daycare and she learned to babble while at daycare. That's so sweet. Okay, let's take like a relax sing bubble bath. Look, it looks like she's learning mixology again. Oh God, it's so funny. Our fun and our hygiene are going up. We're relaxing. Then we need some fun. Let's enter a gaming tournament. Let's do My Sims Go. It's fun. It'll give her more hours on the computer and we could make money. What's not to want? Our brother's home, I think. Oh no, they went home today. They're no longer in the house. Oh, this is so sad. Just hold on River, we'll be right up. We just need to finish this thingamabob. Ah, the competitors in the tournament were better than Ivy. Ah, crap. Okay, let's get upstairs. We're gonna go take care of River. River's getting some attention. I think she was stinky, so maybe we need to change her little diaper. Doing a little change room. River's feeling very happy. All right, River, we need to go to the bathroom really quick, but we will hang out with you in a second. She's so uncomfy. Why? Oh, she's got nausea. She's gonna go play peekaboo with her daughter. Oh, it looks like she liked it. River's just going back to sleep and we're going to. Oh God, poor Kiwi needs some fresh food. Oh my gosh, poor thing. She's so grossed out. She does not like icky things. And now she's feeling dazed. Oh no. I'm wondering if like relaxing here and like playing video games will help, but I honestly think maybe just going to bed. Also, don't we have a day off today? Cause it's harvest fest. We do have a day off of work today. So that'll be good. She'll like enjoy a day with her daughter. Tomorrow is River's birthday. I feel like we need to do some playtime with her. So let's go put River down downstairs. We're starting to burn out. That's okay. We can play with our daughter today. Our burnout will go away as we have a day off. Kind of good timing, honestly. I don't think I've ever seen the, the Sims play with their kids like this. That's so cute. Oh, and she even thought of the color green. Look at that, okay, come on. Oh, they got a sentiment together. I value the time we spend together. That's so sweet. Fascinated, River finds Ivy fascinating and they're closer for quality time. I mean, what isn't fascinating about a ghost mom that can possess things? You know what we should do? I should appease all these gnomes. I think this one likes the 
toy. This one likes vegetables or something. I forget what this one likes. We're gonna appease them. Then that way, if we put them in our inventory, they'll give us like all the seeds and then we can sell them all. So hopefully we'll make a little bit of money there. River learned to roll over onto her back. Good job, River. Okay, we appeased the first gnome. One down. She's feeling pretty playful. Happy gnome, happy home, she says. All right, second gnome. Yes, two for two. Okay, without looking it up, can I figure out this third gnome? I guess pie. I've appeased all of the gnomes. We're gonna put them all in my inventory now so that they will give me all of the seed packets. Okay, she's hungry. We're gonna get another food. And we're eating our acai bowl. We're gonna clean up and then we're gonna sit outside and we're gonna practice making drinks. Our favorite hobby until our family comes over, which I think they should be coming over maybe around three and then we'll start making our grand meal. Oh no, Ivy's up. Oh, it looks like she had a blowout. Okay, we're gonna come get you, Ives. Or River, oh my gosh. I keep thinking of my daughter as my current Sim. All right, well, we're coming to get you, girl. We're gonna go give you a bath. I know, you're very yucky. We are very uncomfortable by how gross it is. I think she's ready to not have an <laughs> infant. River is having her first bubble bath. That's so sweet. Okay, let's put River to sleep and we're gonna invite over our family. Or you know who we can invite over. Fletcher. Let's do a Friendsgiving. Also, we have a lot of rewards. She's gonna be seldom sleepy. And then we're also gonna be a little night owl. So we're gonna build our skills extra in the night because that just seems like her. Everyone's coming over. There's Fletcher and there's Bailey. Fletcher's running over. So let's talk about cooking. Let's invite him inside. I also, I think I should get some like decor. Oh yes, all our seed packets are coming in. Now we can definitely buy some decor. Ha cha cha. It's like a holiday decor box. We wanna do that for our Thanksgiving and let's put up decorations. Perfect. And now let's cook a grand meal. We'll do like a turkey dinner. All right, we're going inside. We're gonna invite him to join our cooking. Oh no, our baby is upset. Oh no, she's hungry. And she's still really tired. Can you go back to sleep for a minute? Mommy will come feed you in a sec. Oh, dad's come over. Dad, come on inside. Oh God, there's so much to do. Fletcher's helping us out. She's getting better, I think, at the cooking thing. Okay, don't attack my friends, please. Oh yeah. He Kiwi takes a bit to warm up to people, I think. Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can I move in with you? What? I was not expecting this from him. I'm a little warm in here. I'm gonna turn up my air. Oh! Yeah, I think it can only strengthen our friendship. Okay, Fletcher has now joined our household. He's decided that he wants to live with us, which is exciting. Did our dad stick around? No, our dad left. Dang it, it took us too long to make this stupid thing. All right, but let's call everyone to the grand meal. We're gonna sit in the living room. Oh my God, look at their knees are touching. They're friends to roommates to lovers. This is happening. Oh my God, my cat is definitely gonna be eating this. Yep, Kiwi, I feel like we should not. No, no, Kiwi. And then I think we should tell him what we're thankful for. And Bailey's leaving. She's like, okay, I'm gonna leave you two to it. Wait, we don't even have a room for him. Oh, my brother's here. Invite him in. I mean, that makes a lot of sense why they would move because they don't have a room for him. He's gonna have to sleep on the couch until they move. Hey, Aspen, how you doing? This is my new roommate, Fletcher. Let's go upstairs and wake up our daughter and feed her, I think. And then I think after that, we'll just kind of put you back to bed. Yeah, she's happy. But we're gonna put her back to sleep because it's nighttime. Fletcher is just chilling. He's enjoying his new home with his new cat. I guess what we could do is we could sell this and kind of make it into two beds, but it's kind of like a common thing of like, well, there's only one bed. I bet they could share a bed. They're really good friends. She's like, I don't know why we can't share a bed. It's fine. Don't be silly. Don't sleep on the couch. Just sleep in my room. We're best friends. And then they wake up cuddling. Oh my God. Yep. They can share a bed. Ah! Oh my God. Look at them. Oh my God. The ship sails itself. Oh, Fletcher broke up. He's a really good looking Sim. I am a fan. He's going to go dance outside at 1 a.m. Okay, Fletcher, you do you, man. He wants a successful lineage. He wants to become a parent. I'm so sorry, Fletcher. I'm literally dead. I don't know if I can conceive. But he also wants to read to a child for two hours and socialize with your child. I feel like he wants to adopt River. Why are you upset, sweetie? Are you just awake? Okay, he's gonna come over and like soothe her. Harvest has was successful for everyone involved. Nice. <laughs> It's easier to make it successful when there's only two Sims. Also, he's wearing blue. Like, oh, come on. I mean, this is dad energy right here. This is cute. When guys exude dad energy, it is attractive. Oh my gosh, she's like huddling her and chatting with her. It is sweet baby's birthday. He doesn't have work today. <gasps> so he'll get to stay with River all day. He's like, I don't mind. I love kids. 
Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It kills me to see Ivy live on the walls. Ah, it's so cute, but so sad. So we have work in like five hours. It's 4 a.m. He woke up early. Oh my God. This is gonna steal all of your guys' hearts and I know it. All of you guys are gonna be smitten kitten with this man. I can't believe he asked to move in with us. I'm pretty shook. Oh my God, he's maxed out cooking, gourmet cooking, violin, video gaming, and programming. He loves kids and can cook. It's giving daddy, okay? It's just, it is. <laughs> oh, she's learning something. She learned to roll over onto her tummy. Oh, I think she can probably do her own tummy time now. She's so cute. But a river's just doing it all on her own, doing her own little tummy time. We picked her up. We're like, why are you outside? And River's like, what do you mean? We're gonna take a quick little shower. He just keeps taking care of her low key while like Ivy's not looking. Ugh, it's so cute. Oh, wow, look at her. She just squealed a little. I think it's over Ivy, but still. Yep, Ivy's like, I want bedtime. We're like, are you okay, Miss Ivy? Or gosh, River. And he's like, no, 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 I got it. And Ivy's like, okay. Oh, she's gotta go to work. Okay, bye Ivy. Have fun at work. Please, please, please make some money. Fletcher will be here. I think he's going to try to bribe Kiwi into loving him. Yes, Kiwi, love me. Okay, that helped. Always does. Can I offer you my friendship, Kiwi? Kiwi accepts. Perfect. We are giving Kiwi another treat. And then we are going to play with Kiwi with a laser pointer. Kiwi comes around if you put in the effort. <gasps> Okay, Ivy wants to impress the boss for a promotion. How should she go about it? I think she should complete a side project. Yes, performance gain large. That is exactly what we were looking for today, Ivy. Good job. Ivy takes the initiative to complete an oft overlooked side task that nobody else would take. And she impressed her boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fletcher's having a good time. Oh, he's getting a call from his sister. Amalia Gray asked her out. Yes, you should go out with Amalia. Go off, Bailey. Okay, he's having a great day. He's really enjoying his life as a new me dad. <laughs> oh, look at Kiwi. Kiwi sleeping in his little sweater on the couch. It's so sweet. Okay, he finished his programming. He's a little hungry, so let's get some leftovers. Meanwhile, Ivy, she's excellent. This is great. She's at the promotion, so you can work as normal, Ivy, and not burn yourself out. And we're just dancing. He's a dancey boy. What can he say? River's still sleeping. She slept through the night milestone. Good job, River. He's gonna get to know Kiwi a little bit give some pets. He's like, I gotta get to know the new roommates. Kiwi loved that. Oh, our girl is up and she's calling for him. She's saying, please, sir, can you come give me a bath? This is so cute. He's like, I'm on my way, baby girl. I got you. Oh my God, Ivy got a promotion. Yes, Ives. So she's now project manager. Let's go. She'll now make an additional 14 per hour. This is amazing. So we're halfway through our tech guru career. Okay, Ivy, why don't you grab some food and then it's time to celebrate River's birthday. Who is mad? She's like, I don't want to be in this outfit, sir. Fletcher's gonna put her down and gonna go take a little bit of a nap. And Ivy's gonna go check on her daughter be like, did you have a good time with Fletcher today? And she's gonna be pretty impressed. She's gonna be like, wow, he changed her diaper. He took care of her. It's a good roommate situation. Very impressed. And then Ivy, why don't you put her down downstairs and you're gonna make her a birthday cake that's blue. Oh my gosh, my brother's over. Come on in. I'm glad you're here. We're gonna go use the toilet and then we're going to bake a cake. Blue confetti cake, perfect. It's a little late for like a baby to be having a birthday party, but we had to wait till mom got home. Level nine for Ivy of the cooking skill. Impressive, honestly. We're gonna add some birthday candles. She's hysterical. Well, luckily I don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, we're gonna help River blow out her candles. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Oh, and River has aged up. Okay, what's blue? So inquisitive is blue, wild is blue, it's silly is blue, angelic is also blue. I'm gonna go wild. I feel like she's got a lot of energy, so she's a little wild child. So our baby has been aged up and she's walking now. Oh my gosh, she also looks like she's got a birthmark, which I love. Okay, let's take a quick little gander of our sweet baby angel. I love it. I love her big blue eyes. So gorgeous. Okay, now we're gonna get into her hair. I use this hair all the time, but I love this dark blue color. It's kind of what I pictured for our girl anyway. Oh, she's really cute. And then for outfits, obviously her mom is still kind of dressing her. The little dresses like this is so something that Ivy would put her daughter in, like a little sailor outfit. So I think we'll have to do that. And then next we'll do, I think I'm gonna go with this dress. 
because it matches. And then we're gonna go maybe with like these shoes. Maybe in like the little black to match. Okay, for her pajama jams, we're gonna obviously do the blue buddy outfit. And then cold weather. Oh, I love the cold weather fits. That is too cute. Oh, and then we could have these matching shoes. You're kidding me. And then maybe we could do a little hat on there too. Oh, with the little reindeer. This does look like something Ivy would put on her head. Okay, I think this one's good. All right, so this is River. I love her so, so much. She's such a sweetie. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's a new dawn. It's a new day. We've got kind of a dad, but like not there because they're just friends who live together. But there's our sweet baby angel in game. Ghost mom and baby girl. Oh my God, are too cute. Look, we even turned a blue for her. Oh my God, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. River and her ghost mom are having a great time. I hope you had a great time hanging out with me on this episode. As a writer, there will not be a new episode next week. It's gonna be the week after that. But let me know all your thoughts about Fletcher in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye!